This is the disassembly video from activity 2.2.1 for IED uh, with annotations inside uh, and commentary so that uh, people who words aren't necessarily like reading on the screen isn't necessarily their thing. I'll have uh, my voice to go along with it if that's what you guys are for. You can also just look at this video on the Project Lead the Way website. Some things that you might need. Proximate dimensions, 162 millimeters by 98 millimeters by 52 millimeters. Remove the four small Phillips head screws. Pry apart the snap fit casing. The two casings are most likely from injection molded ABS plastic. Disconnect the ZIF ribbon connector to separate the two pieces of the casing. Light bar sensor subassembly. Remove L2 and R2 trigger buttons. Measure the dimensions. Approximate dimensions, 20 millimeters by 17 millimeters by 16 millimeters. Note the coiled wire that spring loads the trigger button. This returns the coil buttons to their initial position after depression. Remove the battery by disconnecting it from the main circuit board, then remove the battery casing. Remove the L1 and R1 buttons. Remove the rubber pads. The rubber pads contain a conductive material. When the buttons are depressed, a circuit is completed, sending a signal to the controller's main circuit board. Turn over the main circuit board and remove the joysticks and joystick assembly from the board. The joysticks have a silicone top, allowing for better grip when playing. Potentiometers measure the angle the joystick is turned. The mechanical joystick subassembly allows the joystick to be moved freely in any direction. Remove motor subassembly. The weights of the motors are uneven. When the motor spins the weights, the game controls controller will vibrate or rumble. Motor weights. The internal support is also most likely made from ABS plastic. Remove black mounting plate and flexible circuit board. flexible circuit board. Note the shape of the conductive material on the flexible circuit board. Remove buttons and conductive rubber pads. Touchpad subassembly. Conductive rubber pads create a circuit via the flexible circuit board when depressed, providing input to the main controller board. All parts are now listed on the table.